Welcome back. 821 is your time right now. Election Day 2012 is here. What will this mean for your money? Are you going to grow a beard with us, Dan? And, do, uh, and join no bill. No, uh, I'm sorry. I'm just talking about Dan Cashel. <laughs> bill Stanley is here, our money coach. I might. I've considered no, no shave November and Movember. Look at that. You already voted today. Yes, I did. Yeah. Election day, and I do say let's vote because yeah. as our government goes, so goes our wallets. We exactly. need a stable, credible government in order to prosper using our own energy and education. And we're a military community here. Absolutely. And there's people that are out there defending and often dying. To, uh, to protect our right to vote. Yet three out of ten or four out of ten people won't vote. Wow. In the last presidential election, two out of three of the age 18 to 24 didn't vote. And so that's the youth shameful. vote, yeah. not out there. Yes, let's get out there and vote. Now, I've often said that we need better and smarter people in Washington, and Charlie Reese, a retired reporter for the Orlando Sentinel, seems to agree. He <laughs> says that politicians are the only people that create problems and then campaign against them. Right, right. Now, uh, if both Republicans and Democrats are against budget deficits, why do we have deficits? Right, right. <laughs> and there are 300 and, or no, 536 people out there, the Congress and the President right. that we elect, and if they don't do the job, he suggests we just throw them out of office. And I, my criteria for throwing somebody out of office is anybody that's accepted outside interest money. Right. And that's about everybody. What types of people do we have, you know, to, or, or what, what types of people do we need in Washington to better understand money? I know a lot of them are lawyers. Yes, 40% are lawyers. Do we need more lawyers? Well, my question is how long does it take a room full of lawyers to change a light bulb? And the <laughs> right. answer is forever because they get paid by the hour and there's no incentive to get things done. Right. And they get paid to accept to go into a position and stay with it whether it's right or wrong or makes any sense. Lobbyists or not. write a lot too. Uh, yes. And in Congress the lobby they, they get paid by lobbyists to take a position right. whether it's right or wrong. Uh, and my my uh, the criteria, of course, is to get rid of these guys. And what we need, though, I think more, are more military people right. because they have the concept of teamwork and mission. We need more small business people because they hire most of the people. And in that the drives United our States. economy, right? Small businesses. Exactly. We need more moms and dads and grandpas and grandpas who've raised a family within a budget. I'd say, uh, depending upon whatever happens tonight, uh, with the election, the results are going to be the same. It's going to be a continuation of poor government. And what we've got to do is take some action to protect our money. Uh, the first thing is we've got to become more responsible as government becomes irresponsible. Right. We've got to become more reliant upon ourselves as uh, rather than be reliant on government. Right. Social Security won't be there if they don't fix it. And that means we're going to have to figure out our own retirement. Um, if, you've, if, you're, um, if government money pays you uh, for your job, maybe you better get some retraining. Uh, watch the stock market. The stock market does not like irresponsible right, government. Right. Um, where the last recession was caused by underregulated financial industry and it caused the stock market to go down. In 1987, the stock market dropped 22 percent in one day. And I've read reports that the stock market is no safer today than it is it was then. Back then. Yeah, exactly. I'm saying cut down on your stocks in your the percentage in the portfolio. Increase the percentage of foreign stocks because that's where the growth is going right. to be in the in the future. And you know, let's give up on this deficit spending. It didn't work for Greece. It will not. Work work for your family unit. Very good. Thank you very much, Money Coach Bill. You can go to his website, moneycoachbill.org. Thank you so much, Bill, for being here. And okay. happy Election Tuesday. Happy because I can answer my phone tomorrow. That's right. That's right. <laughs> no more robocalls. All right, let's take a look outside and find out what's happening. Again, uh, if you want uh, more information, you can go to his website there or email him, moneycoachbill at AOL.com. <clears throat> Dagwood Bumstead, that's who I'm voting for. I've been watching the comics, and Dagwood has now put himself in the race. Blondie is like, you know, really, Dagwood, are you going to do this? And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm you know, because all he likes is sandwiches. <laughs> he loves his wife, and he loves sandwiches. That's a great combination. So I'm going for Dagwood Bumstead. That's what I got. All right.